Ew, it's sticky. Hi everyone, this is Jim at Sticky Justice. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to use some of the tools in the web design software package InView. Uh, so what exactly is InView? Um, InView is a simple to use web design software package and best of all it's free. It's total freeware um, doesn't cost anything. With that said, let's get started. So I basically want to show you how to make a website with InView. A um, couple things to know. One, InView is what's known as a WYSIWYG website editor. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. Um, you don't actually have to even touch the HTML source code. Um, this is HTML source code right here. Uh, you can do it all visually. Um, so let's start by just uh, getting a, a field for our, for our, uh, our website. website. So let's go and let's add a table by clicking the table button and you want to highlight this one by one square and you see you get a table it's a little bitty rectangle with uh, with a border so let's highlight that and come back up here and click table again um, come over to your table tab and you can see you've got rows and columns and and all that good stuff so let's get rid of our border you don't even have to put anything back in the field just leave it blank um, we want our height 100% of the window and our width 700 pixels um, and center that on the page and this is a fairly generic website format um, every page obviously needs a logo so let's let's add another table inside here so table insert table there's a number of ways you can do this um, let's just add a one by one table and let's uh, let's come in and edit the table and take that border out but you don't need to change the size of the table um, one of the less graceful things about InView is to move things up and down often you have to hit the enter key um, because the position of tables and images is proportionate to other things on the page um, so now that we've got that in the top corner let's put an image in there by clicking our image icon um, and I want to put the sticky logo will not use alternate text come over to your dimensions and you want to keep it on constraint assuming you want to keep the image looking like it did originally um, so let's make our height 200 pixels it'll automatically change the other not too bad alright so every good page needs a title as well so you'll notice on the sides of the table on the top side and on the left side of every table um, there's this little circle with an X in it and some arrows the arrows are to add more uh, fields either up or down or left or right uh, to the table so let's add one more cell or field to the table to the right and let's put our title in there Okay, well that title doesn't look all that spiffy, so we're going to need to uh, make the table, first of all, be as wide as the cell it's in. It looks a little better, but we should increase the size of the font. Okay, that looks good. All right, and also every good every good page needs links. So let's add another table. One thing about web design is you will quickly get tired of adding tables. And let's get rid of this space in here. We want our tables to be 100% of the cell, and we don't want a border and in our tables let's just put some links
Okay. And now, obviously, these links are a little out of proportion. Um, let me show you what it would look like if they were proportionate. Uh, we'll add a new table. And if all of the words are the same length, the cells should be the same size at the end. Okay. And your page is going to need some text. So once again, what are we going to do, kids? That's right, we're going to add another table. And you'll notice on the links and the uh, and the, the text fields, we don't have to change the height of the field. Um, so let's just add some text. We'll add some text to the other side too. Um, and if we want to make the the fields bigger, we'll just add some 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 spaces. All right, so this is your basic page, um, which you'll notice none of the links actually are linked to anything at all. So we'll go ahead and uh, link some text. And there's there's a nifty little link key up here. Highlight the text, cl click link, choose the file that you want to link it to. Um, and I'm going to link it to this one. And you'll notice it shows up highlighted. And we can do the same thing with images. So we can right click the image, create link. You'll notice the link is also under the image properties menu. Uh, and we'll choose just the bigger version of this picture. Wherever it is. Okay, we'll just pick a picture. Here we go, image files. Sorry about that. Click OK. And when this page shows up on the website, that person can click on the image and get a larger version of the image on the screen. Um, so now that I've shown you this, I'm going to show you a page that I made uh, a while back as kind of a sample page. And it's very similar to the one I just I just made. You could put a logo here. Um, obviously links go where it says link. And down at the bottom uh, you have your return links and um, many many websites have a privacy policy um, and a home link and those often show up down at the bottom just like that and all of this is possible through InView and uh, keep in mind that InView although it is free has many of the same functions as professional software such as Dreamweaver or Sci2 um, although their software may be a little prettier InView gets the job done just as well and for uh, much 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 less money um, one of the nice features is the source code button that I showed you earlier. You can see all of your source code, and if InView when it gets glitchy as it sometimes does, you can come in and manually tweak it. This becomes incredibly useful um, 
on pages with lots of images or lots of tables. Um, now I want to show you some uh, some pages that are made have been made and, and are actually up on a real website. Um, these are some pages that I made for an auction company. Um, you'll notice there are links, pictures. Um, if I click on one of the pictures, a large version comes up. That's what would happen with the sticky justice symbol in that last page. Um, also, InView's own web page is made using InView, and it looks very professional. Um, there's there's not really much flash, and that's one of the downsides of InView is that f flash is hard to integrate. Um, but if you're not looking to integrate a lot of Flash or Java, InView is an excellent uh, tool. Um, all in all, I give InView uh, four stickies out of five for its simplicity and um, its, you know, freeness. Um, if you like what you've seen, you can download InView at the link below um, or on InView's website. Uh, this has been a Sticky Justice tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, please visit our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash stickyjustice. Thanks for playing.